a lot of guys think that they're doing the right thing by asking the women what they want but women sometimes they like that the men can make decisions and it shows that they actually have character and they actually you know gives them that trust to be like hey you know this uh, this guy could actually like protect me i guess in a certain way like people women like to see men that are sure of themselves so baby top tip for keeping our marriage hot Hot or yeah. hot, hot? Hot, hot. What do we do that keeps it hot, baby? Well, I think you've mentioned many, many, many times that we have sex every day, mm. just one. But mm. I think when we really started doing that, you started doing some things that kind of helped out with little things like loading the dishwasher, putting the kids to bed, doing the little things that kind of took care of me. I guess, and then it was almost like you realized that that really paid off. So I really started, you know. Yeah, so what she's saying is that mama was ready to hand out treats when dad started helping out around yeah, the so house. That, that simple reinforcement that went a long, long way. Yeah, guys, listen to me. It took me a long time. I really didn't help out around the house. I'd go and throw my shoes in. I didn't want to do the dishes. And literally, I went in, I started doing these things, putting the kids to bed, making sure that the, the sink was clean, letting her go take a good shower. Boom, I would come into the bedroom and oh, shoot, the magic was happening. Is that crazy. what you said? Yeah, pretty much. And the thing is, and now you're looking for stuff to do, mm, which is really crazy. I'm looking to get everything dirty. Yeah, 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 you get reinforced. So yeah, it does help actually. A lot of people take that for granted and they don't really, really can appreciate that. But as women, we take on a lot of like the dirty little tasks that people overlook. So, so if you want her to get super dirty, super get dirty. clean. Yeah, that's a good one. I like that, actually. All right, babe. So obviously we got a lot of families out here. What is the, the top parenting rule that me and you have? Well, I think we made a lot of mistakes as young parents and we fall in love with our kids so much that we tend to defend them in the wrong way. So when kids get very confused because they might come to one parent and they get one reaction, that's a big deal to one and not to the other. So they kind of like to play us so we would always like be against each other in the very beginning so we came up with a very simple rule that was like you need two yeses for a yes and you only need one no for a no and if we disagree with something that our kids say we don't show them that we disagree we have a conversation about it and then we come together yeah you can them. never disagree in front of your kids yeah because either. they play you yeah yeah that was a big so one bad. so somebody would come and ask Jack one of our, our our son or our daughter would come and ask Jackie and she would say no and that means we're done okay but if she says yes that means you got to come to me and also get a yes and two yeses equal yes but and one no also, is done it also helps with the favoritism because when you have multiple children you know we have one son and two daughters you know they might get a different reaction the girls get one from dad they're like oh daddy this or that like yeah. when you have to get the My two yeses girls are coming ask me and I'm like, of course you can have whatever you want mm -hmm. And, and then they go to mom. As well. She didn't let that happen. Then our son goes to her, and then she's like, "Oh, whatever you want, son." Uh, and I, then I'm like, "No." Dad says no, but for my little girls, yeah. Yeah. So that rule definitely helps with the favoritism. It doesn't make your children feel like they can get whatever they want, and they yeah. don't play you that way. But also, it maintains a good relationship with. Yeah. So the two yeses for a yes, one no for a no. All right. So. I want, an, I want my wife to explain, what were the first impressions that you had of me? Like, what's the first thing you thought? Like, damn, like, is that, is that kind of what you were thinking? Actually, no, <laughs> it wasn't. It really wasn't because back then you had frosted tips. Mm. You were very, very bulky and unhealthy looking. You over tanned. Did I have a six pack? I'm just kidding. That was you a were joke. you were, were just haters. thick and very like bulky and in big. So I was were, in bulking season, is what she said. But you did trick me because you did used to wear a tie and slacks all the time, mm. even though you had your That's frosted right. tips and all that. But you did dress up really, really nice. And then you got the girl, me, and then you started wearing shorts and ripped stuff and all yeah. that other stuff. So you did trick Four me. Four-inch inseam right here, T-shirts. And you so were extremely changed. cocky. So it took me a little while to really understand that the real Andy Elliott was actually a nice guy. He's very thoughtful in That's all right. of that. But, uh, but yeah, my first impression was not like, oh yeah, like it wasn't like, oh my gosh, like I really want to talk to Andy Elliott. It but don't let her fool you, she wanted it. 
Okay. I was the first girl that ever rejected you, for the record. That's right. That was weird. <laughs> <laughs> but it worked out really nicely. And I love the new and improved Andy mm. Elliott. And he was worth Waiting it. for. He was worth waiting for, for sure. All right, so a lot of people always say, Andy, how'd you build this badass business, right? And actually, I, I didn't build it. Um, my wife's actually the one that built it. And by the way, she looks, because my wife doesn't like to take credit for anything, but she actually deserves the credit because, number one, the culture that we have, my wife has allowed um, us not to walk on eggshells and be around people we don't like. And that was something that she put in place because as me as a salesperson, we've been around high achievers our whole life and some of them we liked, some of them we didn't. She said, we're not going to be around people who aren't who we want to have around us. That was something that she said. That's why our culture is so amazing. She had the courage to make that decision when I didn't have it. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now. 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Also, um, how we spend our money. We reinvest every dollar that we make back into our business and continue to build it, right? Like, it's just crazy. Jackie's actually the entire backbone of our company. Um, she has these standards. I mean, literally, when I say Jacqueline could be in the cartel, she could be the mafia, she has these standards that even men don't carry. And I mean, like, the way that she does business, it's like, dude, we're going to do this this way. We're going to run this hard. We're not going to cheat. We're not going to go to bed at night, you know, without doing the right thing. And there's a reason we always talk about in cartel movies, right? Like, the men always die because the men are always like, one more ride, one more deal. We'll see what we do. Jackie knows when to call it. You know, Jackie will push it. She knows when to call it. Yeah, she's got this... And I call it a motherly instinct, but it's this woman instinct that's dangerous. And uh, anyway, so that's the reason why our whole company has grown so awesome is because of her. She's the CEO. Um, she's everywhere with me, everywhere we go. She runs sales meetings every day. But the crazy thing is the camera has always been on me, but it hasn't been on her. But she's actually the one doing it. So if you want to know why I got so good, I've got a good coach right here. Yeah, making decisions based on money is one of the things that have... Uh has separated us and changed. And because of it, I think that we have made money because we don't make those decisions based on money. We don't jump into things. We actually would rather be around those good people that have the right you know, intentions that actually are coachable, that are good to be around, that actually care about the company, that actually want to be a part of a growth, that actually want to pour into people in the same exact way and everything. That's why I think that we have grown. It hasn't been because of me, but that's a standard that we've allowed for sure. All right, baby, so we got a question. So what standards should should the women have for dating? I think a lot of times, a lot of women, you know, they, they try to show a side of people that they aren't really, or they try to just please the wrong people. Like they might hang around certain friends that, that do certain things. I think a lot of times, you know, as women, we don't realize that what the guy is really attracted to is really who you are like being simple and really understanding who you are and what you like to do like you don't have to go and try and impress everybody or try to fit in with a crowd like they're looking for somebody that's different i think people like diversity they like different so what you're saying is whoever the hell you are like bring that to the table because being like you're everybody else it's like you're just everybody else why not choose her 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 yeah, or the girls the when they go different. like and have a meal sometimes they go and they order a salad because like oh well i can't order a salad because i don't want to you know make my lipstick get messed up or I want to, don't want to show that I eat the certain way or Jackie whatever. has a big cold beer and a steak. I don't drink beer. Well, I'm just, that's what I was saying. <laughs> but I will order the steak, maybe two. But I'm just saying, just be who you are. And the thing is that the right person is going to be attracted to who you are. You don't have to pretend like you're anybody else. And that'll show that other person that you have that confidence and that you love yourself. Because you can nobody... make your own decisions and you are who you are. And, and dude, I think it's attractive when you don't need someone else, right, to be your identity. You have your own damn identity. Exactly. Right? Have that's, your own identity attractive. and show that you are actually in love who you are. And people are going to love people that love themselves. Yeah, and own that shit because so many people once they see that somebody else likes something else my dad went 10 years eating onions with his wife without saying anything what a dumbass he should have said I don't eat onions I don't like onions but he didn't do that and after 10 years he finally told his wife I, I don't like onions and she would have been okay with not giving yeah. him onions that's the problem yeah. and the thing is that a lot of don't people be a, don't be a pushover yeah definitely don't be a pushover well I think men a lot of people forget that you know men have to lead and sometimes like it's good women like to see men actually pick places to go 
like a restaurant. Oh, we're going to go to this place or surprise you, you know, like going somewhere, not necessarily like, what would you like to do? And a lot of guys think that they're doing the right thing by asking the women what they want. But women, sometimes they like that the men can make decisions and it shows that they actually have character and they actually, you know, gives them that trust to be like, hey, you know, this, uh, this guy could actually like protect me, I guess, in a certain way. Like people, women like to see men that are sure of themselves especially women that are confident. They want another confident guy. I think a lot of times people like think that one- They don't want a weenie. Nobody wants a weenie. Or maybe they do. It's that kind of weenie. <laughs> and if you call it a weenie, then it's not the right thing. That's not, yeah. That's... <laughs> so Andy, what is one thing you can do to have a deeper connection with your spouse? Hot damn, I've been waiting to answer this all day long. All right, so rule number one, men, women, everybody listening up, all right? If you wanna have a deeper connection with the person that I'm you love. I'm interested in this one. Let's see, let me, let me switch go, to the forward. Go get, two, go get two wine glasses, get a, get a big bottle of wine, put it right in the middle of the table, a little for her, a little for you, smash that, or fill tequila. it again. Or we do tequila. Or and then, and then you're gonna ask your girl a simple question. You're gonna say, babe, I need to ask you a question. I need you to tell me the truth. Hey, but you gotta do it a little more sensual. Oh yeah, 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 my bad. <clears throat> hey, babe. Why don't you look um, at me when you're telling me? I need to ask you a question. Okay. <laughs> you can ask it one or two ways. Am I your fantasy? Or, or you could say, babe, tell me the truth, because I know I'm not your fantasy. Because I, I, listen to me, there's lots of options. It's like a buffet in this world. Listen to me. Do you have the courage to tell me? Let's, let's get close, closer than we've ever been. What your fantasy is. Tell me. I want us to trust each other and get closer. Here? Let it out. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, now listen, I want to tell you something, right? Number one, listen to me. If, if you and your girl truly want to be best friends, if you do, that means you must know something about each other that you don't currently know, okay? A lot of women talk to their friends, they're their best friends, their husband's not, but a lot of guys talk to their friends, they th say things that they can't say to their wife. You want a deeper connection? This is your best friend. Me and you are best friends. So we're going to say, I'm going to say, hey, babe, I'm tell me your fantasy. I'm going to rephrase what you're saying because I think people can really understand and take it in so many different ways. I think what you're trying to say is that you need to have that vulnerability with each mm. other that you can share even the darkest, deepest secrets about. That's right. You trust each other. And you trust that's each how other you to get, do it. That's how you get deeper relationships is by trusting each other. So you have to tell each other something that, again, makes you vulnerable, that makes you a little bit scared, something that you probably have never told them, but also you trust them not to judge you. That's the In thing. case it is something crazy, which I'm <laughs> just saying, right? Ideally it's it allowed, is crazy. It's allowed to be crazy, it is, but it's just between you two. And once you guys put that down on the table, you guys take another drink and then you know what you guys do? You guys go sit there and, yeah, you go have some sex <laughs> and you role play. <laughs> <laughs> no, and then you laugh about it and you become best friends and you have a deeper relationship. Yeah. The sense of that's judgment. just one of the rules that I would tell you that's a way to get it. Hey guys, I just want to tell you you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.